Hi everyone, this is Dr. Alice at Montgomery College. In the previous video, we reviewed the main parts of speech in English. Now let's uh, look at the parts of words, parts of the words, of nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs in a little more detail. Uh, to start with nouns, uh, there are nouns with uh, roots only, no affixes, nothing after the word, cat, book, health, so on. But there are many nouns in English which we can identify as nouns due to suffixes on them, that is, one or more syllables after the root of the word. Uh, there are many types, but we'll look at a few. One suffix that uh, makes nouns is uh, er, and usually makes a, a verb into a noun, uh, such as swim, to swimmer, and write, to writer, and I'm sure you can think of many more of such uh, words that derive, derive a, a noun from a verb. Asian is another one of these. Uh, let's consider fascinate and fascination, uh, or uh, exclaim and uh, exclamation. Oops. There we go. Uh, ment, M-E-N-T is another type. Uh, let's see, govern, to government, and judge, to judgment, and so on. So uh, ER is very flexible. The other two are not as flexible. They can't be used as, uh, on many forms. As for verbs, again, there are many with roots only, uh, write, sleep, eat, um, but plenty which take adjectives and make adverbs. Uh, EN is one. Uh, such as strong to strengthen, uh, bright to brighten, uh, and so on. Uh, eyes, e, uh, I-Z-E -E is uh, one that, again, takes an adjective such as real, and we have uh, the verb realize. Uh, industrial and industrial realize, and so on. Uh, A-T-E, uh, we have something, a word such as designate, uh, dominate, evaluate. We can see that these are all uh, verbs, but uh, it's not always easy to see what the root is, such as in this one, domin is not itself a word. In any case, we can see that's it, it, uh, this little pattern, A-T-E suffix. As for adjectives, uh, some root-only words, such as uh, new, old, young, fresh, no affixes, but we can derive adjectives from either verbs or nouns. Uh, so something uh, like manage, uh, the verb, to manageable, and uh, drink, to drinkable, and I'm sure you can think of many more. Uh, AL is common uh, in English, nation, nation the noun, to national, and uh, form, the noun, to formal, and so on, other patterns like that. Uh, we can take a verb such as ease, and we get easy. And we have a, a noun, so, oh, well, actually, ease is also a, a, a verb, and uh, uh, in this case, dirt is a noun, and uh, we have dirty. I'm sure you can think of plenty more where you have a a noun and you add y on it makes it makes an adjective. Finally, while other parts of speech have lots of uh, roots only words, uh, not so much with adverbs. Uh, to work uh, work fast or work hard, uh, they don't need any uh, affixes. But generally, we add ly. Uh, very common. Quick to quickly and rapid to rapidly and intelligent to intelligently, and so on. Uh, now, we've, uh, there's a brief note. If you have the word friend, the noun, and you add ly to it, that's not an, uh, an adverb, that's an adjective. And if you take father, and you add ly to it, that's not an adjective. Uh, that's an adjective, not an adverb, so it doesn't always work. So we need more than just these affixes to, to tell what things are. We need also uh, parts of speech in their sentences and phrases, which we'll look in, in another lecture.